Okay, hello, welcome back to Phil Savage Rebuilds, um, and we're back with this wishbone job. Uh, so starting straight off from the last video, I've um, got the other wishbone now. So it, it's, there it is. So this one's the right side this time. And um, just to show where we left off, got a jack in there holding the subframe down. And uh, all the back of the subframe's down there. So we need to get the arm back in here, get them two bolts back in for the anti-roll bar. Uh, ball joint back into the subframe and then reattach the hub to the bottom arm. And then we can put this subframe back up, bolt it all back up. And then we can get back onto stripping the front end down. Because last time we had to stop at this point because we can't take the crash bar off because it's attached. the subframe's attached to it at the bottom. And if I take this part off, then that jack's going to push the subframe straight down. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to crack on because I've only got a couple of hours of uh, daylight left today. I've been out this morning working. So see if we can get this back, back, uh, put back together. Um, so, right, let's get on with it. All right, well, I'll tell you one thing. Today's going far better than yesterday did anyway. So we've got this bottom arm in now. Got the subframe back up on this side. So the anti-roll bar's bolted down, arms bolted in on the hub and into the subframe. Oh. Subframe's back up on this side. I haven't got over to the other side yet. Subframe bolts back up there tight. Anti-roll bar's back on. I mean drop links back on. And that um that hub's now in the centre of the arch. So that's all good. This side is finished. Barring putting that under under shield on. So I'm going to go around the other side now, bolt back up the other side of the subframe and um, get that, get them, get both them underpans up because they won't need to come back down so I don't want to uh, keep messing around under them, I'll get it all done in one go. So once we've done that we can get back onto the front then and we can get the rest of this front panel off and get us ourselves stripped right back so we know exactly where we are. Right, we've done it. We've got it all back together. All the subframes up. Uh, dirt guards, plastic covering under the floor, no whatever they call it. It's all up. All subframe bolted back up both sides. Whew. So yeah, big job to change one bottom arm. I can imagine on a on a post on the two post or four post ramp. Um, well, obviously a two post, four post, you won't do it. Two post ramp, the job would have been a lot quicker. Because it went together pretty quick to be honest, uh, about an hour. So yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, all subframes back up, which means we can now continue pulling apart this front end. So I need to check first if there's any gas in this um, aircon rad, so we know then if it's damaged or not. I'm just, I just can't believe that radiator's not gone at the same place there. But like I said, it's it's been running and. If we have a look in there, look, there's plenty of water. So we know that's all fine. So we'll just have to presume that radiator is okay. So yeah, we'll get this front end pulled apart now, get that crash bar off. Alright, get this crash bar off and um Icon rad radiator, and then we can pull this front panel off out of the way. And uh, we've got our new one here, new front panel, ready to go straight on. Excuse me. So yeah, all right, we'll get we'll get on with that. See how much more we can get done in this daylight. Okay, so we've got the um, aircon red off, and it was um, totally discharged. I did try it with the valve at the top first, just to see. So somewhere in there, 
there is um, do a break. So that um, is scrap. Can't see in it. Turn to it, right? But we have got one from the last mini that we didn't use. Um, so that's good. That's good stuff. We don't need to go and buy one of them. Uh, so we got all the crash bar off. We now need to dump the water out of the radiator um, because the radiator has got to come off to get the front panel off. Unfortunately, but that's just the way it is. So we'll do that now. Get the radiator, take the pipes off the bottom of the radiator, dump the water, get the radiator. Right, we made it. We uh, we got it all stripped down before it got dark. It's starting to go a bit dark now, so this is going to be it now. Uh, but we've got it completely stripped, which is great. We've got the old um, front panel out there. As you can see, it's all smashed here. It's a few fixings I need to take off. I need to take the fan off it. Put that on the new one. Um, so yeah, literally the whole of that that's broken off the old one so that's roughly where the impact must have been but that chassis legs perfectly straight just the face plate is just to bend it over a little bit there which I'm just going to hammer straight it's no problem at all other than that there's no, no damage behind here not a single mark can't see anything at all no problems anywhere everything looks good Fan belt looks nice. Um, yeah, pretty good. So, some really good progress in the, in the short amount of time that we actually had today. Uh, I think I started at about, oh, it was probably, I think it was two o'clock. And it's, it's only about four now, so in two hours, you know, we've done all that um, control arm assembly, put all the subframe back, back up, the trays underneath and strip down all the front which is great so on the next video now we can start reassembling this and uh, start to see actual actual things happening and looking looking better okay so that's going to be it for today uh, we made some great progress on the car we're stripped back now as far as we need to we've got everything off with, that's damaged so from here on forward it's just going to be rebuilding you know putting new stuff on putting the car back together so as always, if you enjoy these videos, please do hit that subscribe button, press the bell notification so it tells you whenever a video is uploaded. Big thumbs up for the videos. And you know, if you want to share these videos, tell anyone about them, please do. It helps the channel grow. And as, as, as well, if um, you know you want to check me out on, on Instagram, it's Phil Savage Rebuilds. I just upload the odd picture during the day, you know, so you have little sneak previews. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much. See you next time. Cheers.